Hello, Namaste. Welcome back to my channel. This is Miss Doma Sherpa presenting you the another video on pollination. Children, I hope you all are doing well and enjoying my videos. If you haven't subscribed my channel, please subscribe it now and don't forget to write a comment and give a thumbs up if you like it. So without further ado, let's begin with our class. That is pollination. Before moving to the pollination, I would like to explain a little bit of reproduction because pollination is the part of reproduction. So what is reproduction then? Reproduction is the process, it's a biological process through which new individuals or offsprings or babies are born to continue the generations. If it's in a plant, that means from one plant body, the plant body will produce another baby plants. So that is known as the reproduction. In the process of reproduction, the two main gametes are very very important reproductions are of two types one is sexual reproduction and the other is asexual reproduction sexual reproduction takes place through the gametes that means it includes the male and female gametes we have already mentioned in the previous video about the male gametes and female gametes of the flower. If the organism reproduces with the involvement of two gametes, that is male and female gametes, that time it is known as sexual reproduction. Moving on to pollination. What is pollination then? Pollination is the process of transferring pollen grains from anther to the stigma of a flower. That process is called pollination. So children, here is the clear view of stamen and pistil. At the tip of the anther, can you see this powdery substance which is whitish in color? So they are the pollen grains. And these pollen grains, now these pollen grains will transfer from the anther to the stigma. So, so this is the stigma. Now these pollen grains will stick to the stigma. and the process is known as the pollination pollinations are of two types that is self pollination and cross pollination so what is self pollination in some plants pollen grains are transferred from the anther to the stigma of the same flower and sometimes the pollen grains from the anther travels or moves to the stigma of another flower but of the same plant. That time it is known as a self-pollination. To know about the self-pollination and cross-pollination, let's move to my garden area. Okay children. You can see a clear view of stamen and pistil. So at the tip of the stamen, you can see this is the, the knob like structure which is known as the anther. And at the tip of the anther, you can see a powdery like substance which is sticky as well. So this is known as the pollen grains. Or just a pollen the pollen grains from anther moves to the stigma of same flower 
that time it is known as self pollination sometimes these pollen grains transfers from the anther of this flower to the stigma of another flower so that time also it is known as self pollination now both the flowers are from the same plant right so this is how a self pollination takes place now what is cross pollination pollen grains are transferred from the anther of one flower to the stigma of another flower but of another plant it should be of same species then it is known as the cross pollination that means in self pollination it takes place within the one plant body is it clear and in cross pollination the pollination takes place within the two different plants but of the same species now moving on to cross pollination now in the cross pollination these pollens moves or get transfer from the anther to the stigma of stigma of another flower stigma of another flower of different plant so i have a two different plant but of same species that means of same kind so when the pollens from the anther of one flower moves towards the stigma of another flower but of same kind that time it is known as cross pollination children i have a two different plants that means they are rooted in different pots not in the same pot is it clear so i have two different plants in two different pots when the pollen grains from this flower moves to the stigma of another flower which is in the another pot that time it is known as the cross pollination so children what do you think how does cross pollination occur it occurs with the help of some agents now what are these agents these are insects wind and water so depending upon the agents cross pollination are of following types pollination by insects pollination by wind pollination by water as you all know cross pollination takes place with the help of agents and these agents are insects for example bees wind and then water so what happens as we have already known that these pollen grains are sticky so when the bees comes and sit on this flower that time these pollen grains clings to their or stick to their appendages now when these bees flies from one flower to the other flower that time those pollen grains get stick to these stigma this is how pollination by insects takes place in the same way when these pollens are blown by the wind and then 
the pollen grains will drop to the stigma of another flower in this way pollination by wind takes place in some plants during rainfall the pollen grains get washed away by the rain and then are dropped in the water or rivers and then these pollens they flow along with the water and wherever they get or meet the stigma of the flower of same kind that time pollination by water takes place it usually happens with the lotus water lily and coconut children you must be wondering then what happens after the pollination right so when the pollen grains falls on the stigma these pollen grains will travel along the style of the uh, carpel and then moves to the ovary in the ovary you know what are there there are ovules that means eggs so these pollen grains will unite with the eggs that means pollen grains and ovules will unite so this union of pollen grains and ovules are known as fertilization so after pollination union of gametes occur that process is known as fertilization okay children here i have displayed two types of gynosium from two different flowers and their stamens now what happens with the pollen grains when these pollen grains will now travel along the style through the tube and reaches the ovary of the carpel and then meets the ovule the process of meeting of male gametes that is pollens and female gametes that is ovules are called fertilization now what happens after fertilization zygote is formed okay so the female and male gamete combines and it will form a zygote right a cell called zygote is formed within the ovary and these cell will divide several times and then will form an embryo so this zygote is a cell which divides several times and forms an embryo fertilization brings an end to the flower ovules will turn into the seed and the ovary will turn into the fruit and the rest of the part of the flower they wither away they fall off so this is the end of the today's class um i hope you like it and you learn something um so see you in next video until then bye have a great time